Hi, my name is Liv Meyer. I'm a graduate student in Dr. Gleason's lab. Uh, my major is horticulture, and as you can see behind us, we have an apple orchard out here at the Horticulture Research Station for Iowa State, and we are working with this brand new intelligence sprayer technology in combination with a warning system to see how adequately it can control for pests and diseases in apples. So, you know, most apple growers, again, deal with a lot of pests and diseases, and spraying pesticides is one of those tools in their toolkit that they can use to help mitigate, you know, for pest management. So we've got a standard air blast sprayer here, and you know, with a standard air blast sprayer, depending on your ground speed, you know, you can set your flow rate essentially. So you know, at 3.2 miles an hour, I'm going to put out 100 gallons per acre. That's my flow rate. But the problem is, is that when we're going through the row, say for example, we have a storm come through, or we've got a tree that's not doing well, we have to take it out. We have a huge gap. That standard air blast sprayer is still going to put out pesticides in that gap. So out in Wooster, Ohio, Dr. Hoping Zhu and his team actually came up with this intelligence sprayer technology that can basically see what it sprays. And so it'll shoot out lasers and those lasers will ping off the trees, send a laser back as a return signal, and it can give this machine essentially, or this technology, it can see the tree's characteristics. If you've got the intelligence sprayer set on, you're driving through the road, you have that same gap in the tree, this machine is actually going to tell the sprayer to turn off if there's a gap because there's nothing there. And so with that technology you can potentially you know, reduce the amount of pesticides that you're putting out, the volume that you're using, you can save on that. Uh, it can potentially also reduce spray drift, which you know we all know is problematic with using air blast sprayers. The really cool thing about this intelligence sprayer is that you can go as fast or as slow as you want within reason and it will put out the same flow rate that you've adjusted that you want your sprayer to put out. So as I mentioned earlier, um, a lot of growers you know, are concerned about how much coverage they're getting and so with how the intelligence sprayer works, since we can adjust the rates and we're trying to figure out how low we can go, we want to take a look at how much coverage is correlated with the rate that we're putting out. And so right now we're doing, we're testing essentially with water sensitive paper cards, these yellow little cards, and when they're exposed, exposed to moisture, they turn blue. And so for this trial, I ran the intelligent sprayer through on a high flow rate. And this is essentially what we've got with the high flow rate. And so we'll take this card back to the lab, we'll scan it into the computer, and the USDA has this free program essentially that we can analyze the card to try to get the percentage of coverage that we got. And so we can use that data as well as the data at the end of the year that we collect. So we take all the apples, we look at them, we determine if there's any disease or insect damage, and then we can look at that as well, paired up with the coverage, and we can see, okay, was this coverage adequate, was it not? So along with the intelligent sprayer technology in this research project, we're also looking at the intelligence sprayer in combination with other IPM strategies and so we're also incorporating warning systems which use weather data to help be able to predict when you'll see you'll start to see diseases and you need to start controlling for them as opposed to just kind of spraying on a calendar based system that a lot of people do which you know depending on the season could be like every 10 to 14 days but you know with this weather data for example we can see this year it's particularly dry same as last year so we might not see as much you know as many fungal diseases out there so we may not have to spray that much so the cool thing is about this research what we're looking into is how can we combine this new technology with these existing IPM programs to help potentially reduce the amount of spray volume that we put out with the intelligent sprayer as well as the number of trips that we take in an orchard and this can be costs and labor you know there can be you know benefits for this for growers costs and labor saving better for the environment less hazardous you know for workers on the farm occupationally so it's it's cool stuff 